Hi, this is Julian and welcome for a new tutorial on Affinity Photo. Uh, this is a shot I've taken a few years back. It was in the south of France. And uh, as you can see, the conditions were a bit difficult because it was during the day. Uh, the sun was very high uh, in the sky. So as a result, I got a very harsh uh, light and I've got harsh shadows casting uh, on her body. And yeah, the colors, they're not great. Uh, so we're going to talk about some color correction tips and tricks I want to give you so you can um, uh, get better results very very quickly in Affinity Photo even if, you, even if you're not an expert. So I got kind of a yellowish tone I want to get rid of and my sky is a bit dull, it's a bit unsaturated so it looks more gray than actually uh, than proper blue. So it looks, uh, if you look at the, at the layers uh, I have only three layers, uh, one for the sky as you can see, I've got a proper blue tone for the sky, a bit more saturated, so uh, more interesting in the end. And I want to change the uh, the color of the bikini and the lips. Most of the time, your client will ask you to change the color. Uh, it would have been a lot easier to do it in camera, but obviously, say for example, you have only one uh, one version of the bikini, like your, your client uh, have has only the red one and well you need to be clever if you get the makeup right and uh, do it accordingly so you have everything red and you know in the end it's going to be pink uh, for example that's something very common to do you shoot with something that is not the final correct version but you know you're going to do it in post and you've got tons of different methods to do it i'm going to show you one that is very quick and in the end we shift the color to something a bit more pink and Again, in the end, a bit of color balance to get kind of a, a color grading. And it's a lot more interesting than I, what I had at the beginning. As you can see, it was a bit yellowish, unsaturated, a bit dull. And in the end, proper blue changed the color of the bikini and a proper color adjustment for color grading. It's called color balance. So we're going to see all of that. Um, I'm going to select all my three layers and just delete them and we're going to start again. So first was the sky. So you've got different methods to do it. What I want to show you is something that doesn't involve masking. So you don't lose time uh, using refining selections. It's very easy in Affinity. Affinity is well uh, built for that. However, I'm addressing this tutorial towards uh, people that start uh, with Affinity. So I want really quick uh, tips and tricks, something that's very easy to use. Okay, so we're going to start with the sky. And for that, I'm going to this icon. And uh, this is the adjustment icon. And I'm going to click on HSL for U, saturation, luminosity. Okay, you have exactly the same in Photoshop if you know it. So I can change the U, uh, meaning I can shift the whole color wheel if I want to, from minus 180 to plus 180 for a wheel of 360 degrees, which is very logical. Now, what I want is to saturate something. So I could saturate the entire picture, but again, it's not what I want. What I want is to get a better sky. Probably the sky is going to be blue. So if I go to the master drop down menu, I will have science and blues. So I think for this particular photo, we're more into cyan uh, than proper blue. So let's say I'm going to saturate the science a bit. And as you can see, it's, it's a lot better already. If you look before and after, if you saturate the correct color, now what we get is a better sky in the end. So this is cool. As you can see, just two seconds. And already my exterior shoot is a lot better. I'm going to rename that, double click, and it's going to be sky blue tone saturation. You call it whatever you want, just a way to keep things tidy, nice and tidy. Now I want to change the bikini color. Uh, it's red, but say the client wanted uh, pink. So again, a new adjustment, HSL. And now instead of using the saturation shift, we're going to use the U shift. So if I go to reds and I adjust um, the U, if I go towards the right, I change all the reds in the picture. Problem is, I'm, I'm changing this, uh, the skin tone, uh, which is definitely not something I want. So I could use the mask and paint in black all the areas that I don't want. That's pretty much everything except the bikini. So I could invert the mask so everything is black and then paint in white for uh, the, the lips and the bikini. So you can do that if you want to. But actually, I think this bikini in the end is more on the magentas than on the reds. 
and I know the skin won't be on the magenta, so maybe I can uh, cheat a little bit and change that instead. And look at it, it's 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 working. We can shift the color of the bikini towards uh, something that is uh, pink without even doing a mask. So I'm going to close that, and this is going to be bikini color shift. We're going to say color shift because that's easier to remember. Now we've done the sky and the bikini that changed to pink instead of red. Now I want to get uh, something a bit more personal for this uh, for this shot. It looks a bit dull, uh, a bit boring, so let's use a color balance now. And this is right here in the adjustment. Color balance. And now I have separated shadows, meters, and highlights, meaning I can inject some colors in three different parts of the histogram. So if I want the, the shadows to be tinted in blue, I can go to shadows and push towards the blue. And if you want to see it in action, let's zoom in the hair here. So as you can see now, everything that is in the shadows, so dark grays and blacks, are going, are going to be uh, tinted in blue. And I can go to mid-tones and then a little bit more not too much because pretty much everything in this photo is in the mid-tones. And then for highlights, maybe I could just push a little bit of magenta and red just to get a bit of a warm look on the highlights. And look, with just with one layer, you changed from a yellowish tone to something that is a bit more uh, interesting to look at. It's a proper color grading. It is subject to your taste, obviously, so I know it's not going to be for everyone. But it's a very subtle change, just to get rid of the yellowish tone and get something that is a bit more summer-like, I would say. Okay, so as you can see, very simple techniques uh, to put uh, in your photographs. It's about color correction. It's not a proper masterclass on color grading, obviously. It's a subject that is a bit more complicated than that. Um, first of all, I should have started with the... Uh, um, the raw file development in the develop persona, but I wanted to give you really easy techniques uh, to use to start with. And then if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments down, um, down below. And you can download the source file as well. You can download this particular source file. It's under Creative Commons license. You can go to my website. It's julianpons.com. And you will have the link in the description down below. So just subscribe and you get the source file so you can train and do the exercise in exactly the same conditions as me. On my YouTube channel, you can subscribe. You get one uh, tutorial a week in English. I have also tutorials in French, but uh, I guess if you're watching this video, it's because you're interested in English tutorials. I have tutorials most of the time, obviously, on the Creative Cloud, but I'm starting to uh, push a lot of tutorials and content on Affinity Photo and also other free software like Darktable, for example. Um, so, yeah, subscribe to uh, get updated, to get posted on that. You will get notifications when I, whenever I post a new video. So, yeah, that's cool. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>